Splash Valley prisoners rehabilitating through horse training. Good evening, I'm Patrice Dayton. Mark Allen has a night off. It may seem like an unlikely pair, but the Putnamville Correctional Facility is rehabilitating inmates and retired horses together. It's the only equestrian program for prisoners in the state of Indiana. News 10's Kate Green takes us there to explain why this duo is healing one another. This is Mr. Max. Ricky Pedigo brushes one of his favorite horses. He don't like to stall very much, just like kind of being in a cell. <laughs> An inmate at the Putnamville Correctional Facility. The only experience I've had with horses prior to this was... Uh, when I was a kid, we used to go on a trail ride there in Brown County. Ricky has been with this program from the start nearly two years ago. Horses like Cazador have come from abusive situations like the inmates, both looking for second chances. It's that chance to change that equine instructor Barbara Holcomb says offenders need. They're going to be your neighbor someday. Wouldn't you want them to have some compassion to feel responsible for something? Ricky, along with 12 other inmates, do daily chores. Gives me something to... Uh, Look forward to every day, you know, uh, coming out here caring for these guys. Whether it's cleaning, feeding, or bonding. This one right here, he pretty much takes the cake right here. These offenders are healing. I've learned a lot. I've changed a lot. I set it down. Whoa, oh boy. Right along with the horses. With Ricky expecting to be released next April. You know, I might have a job there at the state park with them horses that I rode when I was a kid. <laughs> he says he's taking the skills he learned here with him. In Putnamville with photojournalist Trevor Keller. Kate Green, News 10. Oh, good for them. The program is through the Thoroughbred Retirement Foundation. It's a nonprofit organization. The farm has 100 acres and 37 horses. To see how you can adopt a horse or for more information about the program, log on to our website, WTHITV.com.